all you Star Wars fans, myself included, here's an image for you today for us to work on. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because this is the perfect subject for something that uh, I hinted on in the last video, which was where we talked about noise reduction software. Today is where we separate the Lightroom from Define. This is where we really get into the meat and potatoes of things because one of the things that you can do in Lightroom is you can reduce color noise. In Define, you can also reduce color noise, but you can do it to a greater degree. And I really believe that this is where uh, things start to get taken to a whole nother level. But even if you don't know anything about Lightroom or Photoshop or any of that stuff, this is really super duper easy to do. So let me show in, let, let's jump into Lightroom and show you exactly what I mean by color noise. And then I'll show you how we can take it out in Lightroom. And then I'll show you how the define works. So here we are. Uh, I went to a recent trip to Disneyland with my kids and took this picture. I was hand holding, so I had to be at a really high ISO. If we look at the information here, you can see that I had the ISO jammed all the way up to 3200. And because of this, uh, there was a lot of noise um, introduced into this photograph. And so if I click on this photo and look around here, ugh, you can see there's an awful lot of noise and grain. But it was either take this photo at a high ISO and get the noise or the less quality, or risk having a blurry photo because I didn't have enough um, ISO. So I obviously chose to have an high, a higher ISO. Knowing that I could come in here and reduce any of the noise problems that I in fact ended up with. So again, if we head under the details panel, you'll see that we have the ability to sharpen an image and we also have the ability to reduce the noise in an image. And it's kind of funny to me that these are in the same place because noise reduction is a form of blurring the photograph and as a way of counterbalancing the blur, we can then go ahead and sharpen the photograph as well while we're here. But this isn't a sharpening tutorial, this is a blurring tutorial. So let's show you what I mean. Now, you can reduce just the noise, which again is a global reduction, which means it's going to happen everywhere. Or you have the ability to reduce color noise. And color noise, I like to, to think of color noise if I, can, if I can find a spot in here where this will work really well, is color noise kind of looks like Christmas tree lights. It's a lot of green and white and red dots in the photograph. And as I go ahead and reduce the color noise, you can actually see that effect um, disappearing to a greater degree. If I move the color slider all the way to zero, look at how much red came back into this picture. And as I move it up, that red goes away. So that works really well. But what if I want to reduce color that's not red or green or white? Um, and I don't want to just crank the noise reduction all the way up uh, because that's going to affect the entire photograph. Um, at that point, I'm a little stuck. There isn't really anything that I could do from this point unless you download Google Nick Collection free and use the Define plugin. That's what we're going to do today. So we're going to head on up to Photo. We're going to go to Edit In and we're going to head on down to the Define plugin and let this run. Again, it's going to ask me if I want to take the original or a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Since I've made some changes, I'm going to take the copy with Lightroom adjustments, which means I'm going to have not one of these files, but two of these files. Again, if that doesn't make any sense, watch the previous videos. We'll link a card up here in the description. So. As I've mentioned before, usually I like to just run this and then I hit save and I'm done. That's it. I don't make any changes to the settings in here unless I'm dealing with color noise. 
The moment that you start to deal with color noise, it's important that you go in here and modify some of the color issues that we're having. And so there's an easy way to do this, okay? What you're gonna do is look at the right-hand side of the screen. And if you look towards the top of the right-hand side, you have a section called Measure. What we wanna do is click on the button that says Reduce. When we do, we're gonna get some color options, but this is not the color options that we wanna to go to. So there's one more button that we need to go to. It's right here where it says Control Points. If you hit the drop-down arrow for this, you'll see a section called Color Ranges. And when we choose color ranges, we get a host of color options here. Now what I want to point out first are these plus and minus buttons. Okay, Plus means we can add for additional color selections. Minus means we can take away if we have colors that we don't need. For example, if I don't feel like I need the blue, I can just click this minus button and now I'm only left with the red and the orange. Now, Nick Filters already went through and looked at the photograph and chose this red and orange color, but you can change that. So if I wanted to, say, change some of the uh, issues with the colors, say, in this blue area here, I could go to the little eyedropper tool next to the color box, click on it, and then go over to the photo and choose the color that I want to fix or the noise that I want to reduce in the color specifically. So when I click on this, you'll see that now my color box has changed from red to that bluish purple color. And now from here, I can go in and add noise to that color and that color only. I can add contrast noise reduction or color noise reduction. But what if I have other colors that I want to change like the red in this railing. Again, I go to the eyedropper tool, select the red in the railing. Now that's been selected, and then I can reduce the color or the noise in that particular color. And this will affect all of that color in the entire photograph, but only that color. So instead of adding noise reduction to everything, you're just adding it to a specific area. But we can't change the background and not hook up C3PO. I mean, he's the man. So, or woman, I don't know. So anyways, what we're going to do is go in here and choose a color. But I've already run out of colors. I've already used up red and I've used up blue and I don't have any more spots here. So what I need to do is click on this little plus button right here, which will allow me to choose another color. Again, I grab the eyedropper tool, choose maybe the gold, and then reduce the noise in that gold color. I'm gonna add one more point, this time for maybe the brighter yellow. Click on that, and reduce the noise on that. So, once you have all of this kind of decided, okay, we can take a look here, and again, if I show you kind of the before and after here, the left side of this panel is the before and the right side of this slider is the after. And so if you look right here on the chest panel, as I move this back and forth, you can see what a great job of reducing that noise this did. Now that I've chosen the colors specifically and gotten rid of the noise, I'm just gonna hit save and I'm done. So, as I mentioned before, you might think that the color or the noise reduction software in Lightroom is perfectly fine. And in some images, it very well could be. But in other images, it's not. And so having a tool like this, especially for free, who doesn't like free, to take your noise reduction to the next step, this is the perfect tool and it's super easy to use. So again, if I go down here into my film strip and I see the TIFF file that came in, versus the other one. And I do a quick uh, compare on these two, just a little side by side. You can see what this looked like before the noise reduction and then after the noise reduction. I mean, look at that. Insane. Hopefully you liked this video and hopefully this video made a believer out of you and you will find yourself using Define for this as well. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Likes if you like this video. Comments are always welcome. And subscribe so you can see all the upcoming videos that we have for you coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam. I'm out.